what's good members it's your boy miss luck boss and i'm back with another chilling video so hey um i'm hoping if this video finds you well hoping you maximize profits made profits and all that so yeah starting the video off with positive vibes and all so today i decided just to break down or give you guys a trading strategy just to for some of you guys that are still out here looking for trading strategies to maximize your profits and yeah basically just keep you for a longer period of time in the market instead of just entering and blowing accounts basically in short so today's trading strategy is gonna be about or is gonna be on support and resistance so support and resistance are basically just key levels in the market where we are looking to enter trades or either exit trades because these are basically zones where the market gets support from and fails to break or gets resistance from and fails to break and just retreases or if it breaks from this levels it basically breaks gives us a retracement which is where we enter then we just enjoy the um, trade upside in short basically so yeah so in today's video i'm gonna be giving i'm gonna be identifying a few key levels with you guys how you how you yourself can identify key levels i, I have a notepad written down i have a few points written down on a notepad so if you guys see me going looking down on the screen oh yeah it's basically just me making sure i'm giving you guys the right points i read down so yeah it's basically gonna give us levels to trade from to exit the market from and yeah basically in short so uh, how should i say this mm. so there it's like there is also another trading strategy you can use support and resistance with just to basically give you more confirmations which is trend line breakouts but i'm not gonna be talking about trend lines breakout for today i'm strictly just gonna be giving guys points and just a bit of tips on uh, support and resistance trading so yeah with all that said and yeah today's video since a lot of guys just comment say no can you do it on a phone can you explain on the phone can you give us a trading strategy on the phone instead of like the computer screen because most guys don't trade from their desktops or computer screens so yeah today's one i'm just basically gonna be going through the trading strategy on my phone on the charts on my phone just to make the video more easier for someone else to understand so yeah with all that said let's load up the charts so now that we have the charts in front of us so i'll just start off by taking this so right off the back i see this as my first support structure because the market did reach this zones or this area is more than once and we can see that it clearly failed to break out so this is our support structure so support structure is the zones or key levels at which the market comes down and fails to break out so it basically resists then shoots up so yeah this is our first support structure so for resistance structure i would say this is also a resistance structure because every time the market reaches this zone it clearly resists or oh, this acts as a support or acts as a wall basically where the market failed to break out so every time the market wants to break out it always has to it fails gets that momentum then finally breaks out and once it does break out of this key zones or key levels it always comes back in a form of a retracement which is this now so this is where we normally enter from if you guys have been if you guys basically okay if you are a normal member or a royalty forex if you are one of our members you know how we trade so we normally trade from retracements basically in short so we have another level or key level here which you guys can see so why i see that is because the market came here came to the zone failed to break out so it had to retrace just to get that momentum to 
break, finally break out, then it re gave us a rejection or retracement basically. So it retraced and bought for a small, okay, it bought for a short bit of time or minimum time. So we can also see that support or resistant resistance turned into support here so the market came down failed to break came down failed to break then finally came down broke out gave us that retracement then it finally sold so yeah that's basically in short so now that we have some of our zones now we just basically go down to the four hour chart just to account for maximum touches in short basically uh, okay we have one there so let me just zoom out a bit just to get a clear view so we are currently at a resistance or a support yeah at a resistance zone which is where the market is at which is at this price so for this you can see that the market attempted to break out which it didn't so let me just account for the maximum touches which is there okay so you can see that the market in the past got to this zone where it did resist from so it once it touched that zone or entered that zone you can see it was followed by a rejection which just shot down came back up again failed once more then just shot down so from past information we can see that once the market reached this zone it normally just resists from the zone so this is what we are currently looking for so if i just get that then just point down so we are looking for this movement and then maybe finally this is gonna be now the breakout so after it breaks out we might also see that retracement of which it finally shoots up so in the overall move we know that mark uh, nasdaq is in a buy so if you are looking for selling opportunities it's mostly just in sh for short okay it's mostly just short term sales you should be looking for not uh not the, the not, not the overall movement should be buys so after identifying those zones i would clearly see that if i was to enter a trade uh my entry would be uh okay okay no, no, no. let me go to a smaller time frame if you want to look for entries like the one hour or the 15 minute time frame so in our case here if i was looking for a trade maybe say the sell we are saying since it's at the resistance zone i would normally use other trading strategies or yeah basically i would use my trend lines like so just to give me a level of where it might break out from so it might break out here then give us that rejection and give us a double top formation of where we can enter ourselves from and capitalize this so normally we just enter from that retracement yeah basically just from retracements is just just to normal or just to avoid losses in short basically so this is the trade we would be looking for then capitalizing it to the upside like that so yeah this is basically in short what we are looking for on nasdaq if we don't break through so okay this is one of the analysis or thing setups i see but this could also happen say we do break out from this zone say we do break out i would be looking for okay you know let me just if we do go up i would be maybe looking at this zone because the market did we, we see the market did fail to break out had to get momentum then finally broke out came back and you, you can see that it acted as a level of support so we can also see that the market does break out we can see it does break out gives us that three test where we catch our buys from then finally shoots up so we can also capitalize like that 
so in other terms we are we can also be looking for a movement that's like this let me just for some of you guys that maybe don't understand we can also be looking for this in case the market does break through so yeah we can also be looking for buys but this is only when market the market does close above our support structure or our resistance structure would uh, in other words turns it then into support so it's gonna be here if we do break out break above close or we have a candlestick that closes above and then we wait for the retracement that's where we capitalize from a buy basically so yeah this is basically just one of the strategies i also use when i trade uh, nasdaq because nasdaq most of the times it, re oh, it respects these key levels in the market so we could also okay yeah no on the 15 minute there's nothing else to explain basically so my next video is gonna be on how sh should i say it? my next video is basically gonna be on trend line breakouts as a trading strategies trade patterns and whatnot whatnot so yeah for today's video we basically just covered uh, support and resistance so i'm hoping you guys really enjoyed and found the video to be uh, valuable so yeah this is our nasdaq or not nasdaq <sighs> this is the account so we had a few trades on this account but i'm not gonna show it